Hey, so what's up guys, Make here with Drug Tech and today I decided to break the monotony and uh, do something a little different something I haven't touched before on this channel which is doing an iPad case I just want to thank Autobox Malaysia for hooking me up with two Autobox cases for the iPad in this case, the iPad Pro 9.7 inch right here I have the Autobox Defender series for the iPad they have it for all models including the latest 10.5 inch as well as the 12 inch model but for today's demonstration, I'll be just trying it on my iPad 9.7 inch because that's what I currently have but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you can get notified my latest content so without further ado, let's get right to the unboxing So we are back as usual before we begin the unboxing let's just look at the box and see the features of this case so on the top here okay, your regular auto box logo the bottom it says defender rugged protection and it's also auto box certified drop protection you can see it's for the ipad pro 9.7 inch okay moving along the back that's where we see the features of this case so you can see defend your device from drops dirt and daily adventures so you can see it's a very ruggedized case as you know Autobox Defender is like the gold standard for drop protection and rugged cases so taking a look at the features you can see drop protection, screen protection, dust protection and also there's a stand included which I will be showing you later and also there is scratch protection because there's an inbuilt screen protector and also stylus holder and there's of, of course three layers of protection because it is a ruggedized case Okay, so let's open the box and see what it comes with. Alright, so let's crack open the box as usual or the box presentation right here. So what you get inside the box is the case itself and then you also get a leaflet saying welcome to Autobox and instructions on how to install your iPad into this case telling you more about this case in uh, different languages. So you can see the modes as well from the stand. So let's put that to the side as well as warranty information. So you can see right here. So let's get to the main stuff of the show which is the Autobox Defender itself. You can see this case is no joke. It's really solid. So you know, it's an Autobox Defender case. I'm curious to see where the stylus holder is. Because I did open the box and actually I didn't see any stylus holder. But we will check that out together later through this video. So let's go through the case itself. So let me remove the front portion of this case. You can see this is where the stand is as well as also acting as a plate to cover the screen of your iPad. So you can see you can lay your iPad in a nice sketching mode as you say. Like if you want to do sketches with your Apple Pencil which I have right here. If you're interested in this skin, I will leave a link in the description. It's a collaboration between Droidtech as well as Mojo Skin. So they actually did a custom skin for me right here. They are not currently on sale. But there will be soon because they're still tweaking the design and also the cutting. Okay, so back to the case. Let's take a closer look at the stand as well. So you can see, turning the stand around, you can see this plate actually allows the iPad to rest also in another angle. This is suitable for viewing media on the go. So this is actually a pretty versatile case, not just for protection, but as well as for media consumption. Especially if you play games, this will be a nice grip on the side because you can actually hold on to the edges while you're gaming. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so on closer inspection, I actually saw where the pencil holder is. Something which I didn't notice earlier. You can see this small slot right here is for the Apple Pencil. And I think it's something that I would like to give Autobox credit for because I didn't expect them to actually have Apple Pencil holder right here. Okay, so putting that to the side, let's move on. To the main case itself so you can see there's a screen protector right on top i already have a screen protector on my ipad so i won't be taking that off but you can see that this actually protects your screen from scuffs there's a fingerprint scanner film right there so it protects your fingerprint scanner as well and then you can see there's a cutout for your front facing eyesight camera okay taking a look at the sides there's basically nothing on the sides okay so on the bottom we actually have Cutouts for the two speakers as well as your lightning port which is covered by this flap right here uh, It's stuck in I will install my iPad in and I'll show you guys later So taking a look at the top that's where your other two cutouts are for your other speakers as well as cover for your headphone 
Check. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay, on the back, that's where our standard affair is. The cameras, the flash, and the secondary noise cancellation mic. And a nice covered cutout for your Apple logo. If you're a fan of that, showing off your Apple logo as well as Autobox branding. So let's take a look at the right side. That's where your volume buttons are as well as your microphone. I should say this is your primary microphone because the secondary microphone is housed behind. So let me show you the installation process of putting my iPad into this case. Right now I'm actually using the Autobox Symmetry, which I think is a very neat case. I've been using this case for a couple of days now. So I think that case is something I use on the daily. But I might be switching over to this case since I found out there's an Apple Pencil holder in the bottom part of the case. So I think that's a great combo right there. Okay, so let's get right to the installation. I'll fast forward this video and show you how many clips I had to open just to get my iPad installed. Okay guys, so I finally got this thing open. It was quite a pain to actually take this off, but I mean, you sacrifice that for protection. I think there's a worthwhile trade-off. It was hard to get my iPad off the Symmetry case as well, but I think that all adds up in the end. So you can see the back portion of this case, so I can just put my iPad right in here. It's a snug fit. So let me give this screen a nice wipe down. There's a screen protector actually applied. I won't be taking that off as I mentioned earlier. I'm trying to get a clear one as well. After trying to do my best to clean it off, I just step on the front portion of this case right here. Bear in mind you must watch out all these clips right here. Make sure they're all clipped in. See all these clips right here. So let me actually just snap them all. Make sure they're all clipped into place. You can hear them snapping together. See that means your iPad has a snug fit. And surprisingly, there's actually no air gap in between the screen as well as the case so that's a good thing you can see but of course there's a bit of a halo effect i guess that is because of my anti-fingerprint screen protector so i'll blame that instead wasn't such an expensive screen protector just got it to just protect the ipad screen so you can see i'm actually fitting in the outer rubberized layer okay this is the tricky part we actually have to wrap around the corners See right here, you actually have to wrap around the corners to make sure there's a snug fit right here. It's quite a chore to actually get, get this case on, but anyway, so you can see me snapping this all together. So, we finally got all this installed together. This case is definitely not a case you want to be taking on and off on a daily. In this case will be something that you just want to leave it on your iPad for the rest of the duration you're going to be using your iPad so I think if you're going to be doing that definitely get this case I mean it's a bit bulky it's a bit heavy but you're getting the drop protection which they claim okay so you can see screen protector right here no problems at all let me turn on my iPad and show you let me show you the fingerprint scanner right here no problems at all you can see unlocking my iPad is as simple as that don't have to re-register your fingerprint. So you can see all the cutouts right here. In fact, you see more than generous cutouts. iPad logo. See the cutouts right here as well as for the charging port. The sides. Oh, I didn't really fit this in properly, my bad. Okay, so you can see volume buttons. Easy to press. You can see the volume buttons are actually changing. Okay right there so nothing really much to talk about everything is well cut out even the earphone jack let me take this flap off right here it's the earphone jack straightforward stuff okay let me show you the second portion of the case right here see this is where the stand feature comes in so you can actually put your tablet right into maybe viewing mode let you say at a sharper angle you see, you put your iPad right in here and you're good to go. So if you don't want a higher angle, you can actually go for the slightly lower angle, which is right here. You can see, it's pretty straightforward. This is good for sketching and whatnot, as I mentioned earlier. 
Okay, let's try on the Apple Pencil holder right here. Let's hope it doesn't remove the skin from my Apple Pencil. Okay, let's just try it. Let me see if there's a direction. There's actually no direction, so you can just put it any way you want. Yeah, it snaps on very securely. It's not going anywhere. So you can see, this is a neat touch for your Apple Pencil. As you won't be losing anything like the cap or whatnot over here. Okay, let's try taking that off and see how it feels. Okay, that's pretty tough. Pretty tough to get off, but I mean, that's what you actually want. Let's try it again. Try to put it in properly this time. It's a very secure fit. No amount of bumping is going to get the Apple Pencil out of this holder right here. But I think in the long run, there'll be definitely wear and tear on Apple Pencil because it's pretty rough right here. Uh, I don't mind that because I have a skin on my Apple Pencil. Okay, so let's try to snap on this case backwards. You can see they're actually rubber feet right here as well as the Autobox branding which I forgot to mention before. Rubber feet right here so it prevents your iPad from moving around. Okay, let's try to snap this on. One corner in, there it goes. It's pretty chunky, I should say. Very chunky, but if you're playing games, I think that would be a nice grip. At least for my hands because they are kind of big. I think it's a nice grip especially when you're playing games. Okay, so let's remove this and put it on the other side. Show you how it protects the screen. Let's put the Apple Pencil to the side. Okay, so backward modes is, a, is similar. So you just have to snap this on and you're good to go. So it protects the screen from any impact. You can see right here, no impact. So if, you're, if you do drop your iPad with this thing, it's not going to actually damage your iPad. So I feel very safe using this actually as compared to using the Symmetry but the Symmetry does give a certain amount of drop protection as well but this brings it to a whole new level. Okay so guys this has been a video on the Autobox Defender for iPad. I'll leave everything in the description below. If you do wish to purchase this case for your iPad or even for your iPhone as well they do make for a ton of devices but for now I'll just leave the link for the iPad version of this case in the description below. So that's all for this video guys. Do stay tuned for my new videos coming up in the upcoming weeks. Do hit me up in the comments if you do wish to see a video of the Autobox Symmetry case for the iPad as well. I'll be glad to make that video for you guys. Alright, so this wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.